Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make a box with cornflakes. Uh, this is very easy. You select the cube and you press SX to minimize the thickness of your box. SZ to let it grow like that. And SY to make your box like it should be. Something like this. I'm going to give it the material. This is not important. Let's say white because we're gonna put a UV layer on it. So this is the material and now we're going to position the camera and to do that we press N lock camera view press with your cursor on the screen zero on the num key path. Now we're going to reposition it a little bit like that. Okay. Unlock camera view press zero on the num key path while the cursor is on the screen and we're going to add a plane over here which is going to serve as the table like that and we're going to position it like this we're going to give it the material and let's see Brown. and we're going to choose something like that okay good now we go back to the box uh, no sorry we have to put the lights at position so we select the light we're going to position the light somewhere over here in front we're going to copy it by pushing shift d and we're going to position it on the back oh, like that so we can see the back also and we're going to position it one left and right one on this side and one on the other side now we're going to position it like that while we do that normally it's not necessary but I want to show you all the angles of the box and show you what the color is on that side and on that side okay when this is done we're approximately ready the only thing now left is put the uv mapping around the box to do that we select the box and we go to edit mode and now over here we're going to switch over here to uv editing like that good on that screen we have the box on this screen we have the uv mapping and uh, we're going to use the selection tool edge where we're going to mark the scene to do that you have that box and you select uv mapping under shading uvs okay now to mark the scene we're going to say where we're going to cut the box open in your imagination of course thus we're going to select that edge we're going to select that edge, we're going to select that edge, that edge, that edge, that edge, and that edge. Now, this means that if I use a scissor and I'm cutting this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, this edge, 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 and I fold it open, you will see what we're going to get. If we have that, we're going to say this is, we're going to mark the scene. Now it's turning red. See? Okay we press a see red we're going to press a again to select everything now we're going to unwrap so we click unwrap and you see that it pops up on this side if it is positioned like this you can press r to rotate and make it flat so this is should be flat like that you can press g to position it wherever you want on the screen if your if your position is okay and mine is approximately ready I want it flat it's not necessary but it's just to look okay now we're going to export it underneath we have over here UVs we click on it and we say export UV mapping and we're going to select where we're going to put it and I'm going to put it on the UV mapping over here and I'm going 
going to call it map export UV. Now we go to an, some sort of program. In my case, it, it could be Photoshop, it could be Paint. And we're going to open the map where we put our UV, uh, of course. Okay, now to come back, I'm going to say it again. We start cutting over here. This, this means this, this edge is, the, is that edge. This edge is this edge. That edge is that edge. That edge is that edge over here. So meaning, if I want to put a name over here, we're going to put it like this. Okay? Underneath, the square underneath, this side is that side. That side is that side. And left and right, of course, are the others. So the background of these of this box, the underneath edge is that edge, and that edge is that edge. So if I want to put some words on the back, okay, I have to write it from left to right over here. Okay, we go back to the mapping and we're going to do it. So first I'm going to show you a very easy how to start. Uh, we're going to copy, of course, some popcorn, or uh, not popcorn, cornflakes. And to do that, we're going to copy, go back over here, and we're going to paste it. Position it over here. We're going to rotate it about 270 degrees. We're going to bring it smaller, and we position it over here somewhere. Now we're going to add some text. I'm going to bring, bring the text over here. It's not that important. And I want it in black. I'm going to say corn flakes like this. We're going to fill it up. I'm going to do that very fast. I'm going to cut it. We rotate it. Sorry. Like that, position it. It's just to show you how you can easily do it. And then it's up to you what you're going to, to make of it. Okay. Rotate 90 degrees, position it over here somewhere, and fill it up. Okay, on the back, I said it has to be from left to right, so we do the same over here. I'm going to just put some text. Something like this. Now we'll position it a little bit correct. Of course, you can do much more in Photoshop, and it's up to you what what you want, but it's just to show you how you should do it. And now we're going to position it, and this one we're going to position just the opposite right, like that. And if we're done working on it, you can put text underneath, uh, on top, on the left side and on the right side. Okay, if this is done, we can save it. Okay, we saved it. Now we go back to Blender and we're going to open it. So to do that, we're going to open where you put your files. Mine is located at UV mapping and it's called map. So we open it. We scroll with the middle mouse key and we have what it looks like it's the same as in my copper program paint. Now to go back over here we go selecting that and we select default. Okay, now we're going, if you are if you're random now you will see that you see nothing. Why? We have to do something extra to, to have it. So we go back to 3D mapping. And we have selected, still selected the box. We add some texture. And to add some texture, we choose over here 
image movie you open up that or you open up and you select it again or you click on it and you select mine is called of course map you select it now we have two things extra over here on the mapping we have to say it's uv mapping and we choose as map the uv map now if i render you will see that i have what i want okay now to come back and you can have a quick look also let's switch to object mode and in here you can select rendering and now you see the same and if i rotate now you see that the back is also correctly positioned and it says thank you for watching so if you like what you see please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching return back